Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in Charleston, South Carolina. You may be able to see the Cooper River Bridge behind me. I'm with my good friend and colleague, JMYS broker, Rob Pawarczyk. Rob owns a Selene 55. He and his wife, Deanna, have cruised it. They did the Kubar. They've done a lot of cruising, and Rob is the co-listing broker with me on this boat here. Rob, which boat are we on? We're on the 2005 Selene 57. High spirit. And I'm going to give you a tour around and then we will invite you to get in touch with us at the end. So thanks for joining us. Cockpit on high spirit has a good covering overhead. This is where the boat deck is. Down below is the lazarette. Teak decking, very clean, just freshened up. A storage console forward with lockers and drawers. I have a boarding gate here, boarding gate across from me, and also one from the swim platform. And then if you just want to hang out and relax back here, you have this table, teak table, it's adjustable. There are several hose pipes with cleats back here for handling lines, shore power back aft, and then from the cockpit area, you can go up into the interior, entering the salon. The salon is the central gathering place aboard the Slim 57. This is a great room with a lot of seating in it. There's a set T on the starboard side, an L shape on the port side, dining table on the port side. Teak and spruce floors here. It's a very elegant feel here. Beautiful teak, good headroom above. Back aft on this set T, there is a locking pin for the lazarette and some battery select switches. Also on the port set T, there's a slide out underneath so you can make that a little bit of a wider berth. On the starboard side, you have this set T right here that will also be a pretty comfortable place to take a nap. There are some drawers underneath that. A cabinet here with some lockers and drawers. Drawers forward in this cabinetry right here. A locker, flat screen television. The dining table is adjustable. Just a lot of room in here. And remember, we have two walking side decks, so we haven't really compromised the interior. From here, I can go up to the galley. I can go to the pilot house, or I can go down to the lower level where I'd reach the landing for the engine room and the owner's cabin. So I'm gonna just come forward into the galley. In the galley here, we have two counters. There's an upper counter for putting prepared meals on once you're ready to serve. A plate will fit up there nicely. There's a surface area down below for working on it. A double basin stainless sink. Great storage, overhead lockers, a thwart ship, and outboard. On the outboard ones, they even have a little wine glass slot. Forward, a convection microwave oven a Force 10 three burner propane stove and oven. There's a locker here that slides out with a trash bin. Speaking of sliding out, these forward lockers here have slide out shelves so you can put spices and various cooking supplies right there. And they're easy to get to and easy to tuck away. The refrigerator is relatively new. It's a stainless steel bit for Frigo. Refrigerator, freezer. Again, teak and spruce here. Good storage, a lot of lockers and drawers. I feel like when I'm preparing a meal that I'm also part of the conversation in the salon. This entry level is really a fantastic place. I think you'll spend a lot of time here. So let's get you on board. Pilot House is the focal point on the Selene 57 High Spirit. This is where all the navigation occurs. If you want to run your wing engine, you control it from this station. The aft section has a set tee with seating area, a table there. Great place to work on your laptop, have a short meal. There's a watch berth back aft so that you could have the off watch captain nearby. Have access up to the flybridge to the stairs here. And also along the starboard side, I can go down forward to the lower level where the staterooms are. There's a chart table area right here. This slides out so I can extend that. Obviously that restricts the stairway, but when you're underway, you can put some charts there. Dutch doors on both sides. I have some opening windows to give some cross ventilation. I have the electronics. There's an overhead hatch here. The Stid Helm chair, and then my electronics, GPS, all the different chart plotters, radar, autopilot, wipers, horn, compass. Engine controls are up top. Have some closed circuit TVs. Wing engine display. There's a safety panel with the fire suppression system, VHF radios electrical breakers, verter panel, generator panel. When I say this is the central focal place, this is. This is the place where you're gonna be running the boat. Most of the time, on a nice day, you could be up on the flybridge, but this is the primary piloting station. 
there is plenty of room here. I can be operating the boat with people behind me, talking to them, and almost everything I need to get to, I can reach, can touch things, get to things very easily from this helm chair. So I like this pilot house a lot. There are two walking side decks on High Spirit, both port and starboard side. Beautiful teak cap rails, teak decks, deck pole right here ready for me. Up one step and I'm on the level. There's a boarding gate opposite the entry door for the pilot house on both sides. Good stainless railings and I can come forward up to the Portuguese bridge and foredeck. Very comfortable side deck brings you up to the Portuguese bridge. Portuguese bridge is a great divider between the pilot house and the foredeck, gives you some protection. There's a hinge door here to enter onto the foredeck. This foredeck is practical, functional, and elegant. One of the features I love on the Selene 57 is having this seat up here. So while someone's driving the boat, the crew could be up here hanging out, watching the view. Up forward, it's all business. You have the ideal electric windlass. There are two roads ready to go at the push of a button, two anchors ready to go, two separate chain lockers. It's a divided chain locker. Foot buttons down below there, a stainless steel Samson post for tying off, Haas pipes forward, good stainless rails around. This is a foredeck that you can really use for utility and also use for enjoyment. Boat deck is above the cockpit in the salon. There are two big dock boxes for storing gear. Primary purpose for this area, of course, is for the tender. We have an Avon rigid inflatable with a center console, has a Yamaha 40 horsepower outboard, there is a really new biking rescue use six person life raft right here. Once you've launched the dinghy, you have a great area up here for relaxing. And this area is on the same level as the flybridge. You go up one step to get to the controls. The arch is protecting with the instruments. There's a bimini over the flybridge. Let's go look at the flybridge. Coming up from the pilot house brings you to the flybridge and boat deck. They're on one level. Flybridge is forward. There is some entertainment gear on the starboard side. Force 10 grill, stainless steel sink, some storage for cleaning supplies. You come up a half step to get into the operating center of the flybridge. Have the Bimini overhead cover here, which ties in with the arch. There are two Pompanet helm chairs for the captain and whoever is joining them for the ride. For lunch, breakfast, dining, relaxing, you have this beautiful wraparound L-shaped settee here, fiberglass table. Up forward, all of my electronics are up here. There is a glass covered chart table, VHF radio, depth sounder, chart plotter radar, engine controls and instruments, compass, two windless remotes, bow thruster, stern thruster, searchlight. So I have a commanding view up here all around. Very easy, right back behind the pilot house, and I can walk back here and get to the boat deck. Coming down the stairs from the pilot house, you reach the forward lower landing level. From this landing, I can go back aft to the master stateroom. I can go forward to the VIP. On the port side, I have the guest cabin with two bunk beds. These two cabins share a head and shower across the hall on the starboard side. In this cabin, there are two bunk beds. So this is more of a crew or a captain type of an arrangement. The lower bunk runs a thwart ship. There's some storage lockers above, some drawers down below, and then outboard the upper bunk runs fore and aft. Again, more lockers forward. And there's a pretty cool desk area down here with some bookshelves, some space and a chair so you can get a little bit of work done. There's one step up to get to the very forward cabin area. The VIP cabin is what this one's called. Flat screen television, hanging lockers on both sides, a wide island berth with storage underneath, access to the bow thruster, lockers outboard, port lights on both sides, and an overhead opening hatch. This is a very comfortable room for your guests to hang out. And actually when you're at anchor someplace and you wanna have the breeze coming in, you might prefer sleeping up here. Two ways to get into the owner cabin. You can come from the salon, down the stairways there, there's a landing. You can also go back to the engine room or you can come down forward from the pilot house. Island berth, plenty of drawers. There's a bureau over here. I count three large hanging lockers, one back here, one here. Nightstand on either side of the bed. Flat screen television. Here is that third hanging locker. That's the door forward. And then there's a full length mirror here and into the head. 
granite counters, Tecma freshwater toilet, and stand-up shower. There are three ways to access the engine room on the Selene 57. I've come in through the master stateroom. There's a large double dog door there, which gives me a nice runway to come by. I can look at the Cummins QSM11 main engine. This is a wet exhaust with a ZF transmission. I'm hanging onto the railing of the Yanmar wing engine, which is not very common on a Selene. Excellent get home backup propulsion system here. And it's on a straight shaft, so same as the main engine, straight shaft going back, which brings it a little bit further forward and gives you a little more room aft in the engine room. Back behind the wing engine, here it's a Northern Lights 12KW generator, is the hot water tank and the Nyad active fin stabilizer reservoir. Some exhaust runs over here. I want to point out that the generator has duplex raycores, as does the main. There is an ESI fuel polishing system on this boat, and I can then go back to the lazarette through the door all the way aft, and there's also a Fireboy fire suppression in this engine room. I'm gonna try a different angle to show a little bit more about what's going on in here. This is the ladder that comes down from the salon, which makes very easy access down here. I can service the port side of the main engine. My fuel manifolds are forward, as well as the rake oars for the main engine. Forward in both corners are the Nyad active fin stabilizers. The actuators are there. And I have an air conditioning compressor here. This is the ESI fuel polishing system. There is a reversal oil change system, tool chest, batteries, and then back onto the lazarette right by the fire suppression. A lot of things to point out in this engine room, so I'm trying another angle here as well. This is the Northern Lights 12KW generator. You can see the Yanmar wing engine, Raycor fuel filters here for the generator. The black box is the tool chest, below that's the reverso. Start batteries outboard here on the port side, fire suppression system and then I can go back aft to the lazarette. Let's go check that out. The lazarette on the Selene 57 is substantial. There are two ways to get down here. One is through the cockpit, and you come down the ladder right here, or you can go in and out of the door on the port side to the engine room. A great feature on that is it has a window so you can see what you're getting into. Laundry over on the starboard side, dryer and washer. Outboard behind me, the exhaust run, also a Glendening shore power retrieval, a diesel hurricane heater back here, the side power stern thruster back aft, your steering table right here with your hydraulic steering, water maker back behind that table, there's a fortress spare anchor, you have storage lockers on the port side, there's a lot of shelf area above for keeping spare parts, uh, including a vise, and then a grunter freezer outboard on the port side. The lazarette ends up being a storage area for you, it becomes a garage, so there's, as you can see, plenty of space in the middle of this lazarette for putting your gear the way that the grid pattern is with the stringers, you can put baskets in here and they won't go sliding around. All the way forward is a bilge pump, so if you get any water in here, it'll pump it dry. You now know a lot more about High Spirit. She really is a spectacular boat. The best way to appreciate her, of course, is to get on board. We do that by appointment. You can get in touch with Rob. Rob, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Please call me or text me or email me. Information is down below. We look forward to hearing from you. We'll get you on board and you'll see for yourself what a spectacular boat she is. Thank you. Thank you. Hi Trawler fans, thank you for watching the JMYS YouTube video channel. I'm fortunate to be offshore again. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, you can click the button below. We also like to publish other listings and other Trawler Skills videos. You can click on one of those on the side to watch those. Thank you very much for your thumbs up. We love having you watch our videos. We love putting them together for you and hope you come back again soon.